What's up guys, it's GameStarTools.com here. Today I am going to show you how you set up a Garrison Mod server on um, Debian 7. I'm using Debian 7 because I was not able to find the Debian 6 version that um, the user said I should, but the process remains the same. The only thing that changes is, um, is some of these commands here. but you need to run this one here that works for you. Uh, I ran this one, worked perfectly fine. And what this does is that it makes your um, your Steam CMD capable of running on a 64-bit server. Now let's get to the server. The server needs to be well. I, I do recommend that you have at least 512 megabytes of RAM and around two cores. Um, and that's pretty much it. You Counter-Strike Source does not really take a lot. Uh, Garry's Mod take a little bit more, and Team Fortress about the same as Counter-Strike. And the process here I'm going to show you works for um, Counter-Strike, Garry's Mod, and Team Fortress. At least that's the ones I've tested. Um, it should also work with uh, 1.6 and Global Offensive. So yeah, let's get to it. Once you ran this command down here, you need to go up and um, and find the location of the wget command right here. Now, since we are doing this with a little bit of security in mind, we need to add a user to our Debian installation here. So do that by add user um, let's call it Steam. I'm going to give it a password here. Don't mind that, since we are only going to be using it, so that's fine. Um, let's open up a new putty window. Type in the IP address of your server again. And then log in as Steam and with the password that you, um, that you gave it. All right, now we are in our home folder, and we are going to run this wget command right here, and that's going to download um, the program from the Steam servers. So let's mkdir. Let's call that cmd. Cmd, and then we're going to paste this in, and it should begin downloading, and it does. Um. As you can see, it's right there. And now we need to use this um, tar command here. We're going to use to extract the content of this folder here. And as you can see, it did what it should. And now we need to execute this steam.sh. Um, I'm not really sure if we need to do this. Um, if you need to. Uh, Oh, we didn't. Okay, because sometimes it gives you a permission error, but it seems like it's all right since we downloaded it with this um, user. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, now it's just uh, downloading the latest uh, updates, um, and now we're in. Now we're gonna do a login, anonymous. We're logging into um, to the Steam thing here. Let's see. All right, we should have access to everything now. So we need to do a force install deer here, and I'd like to use um, full paths. Um, so like home, Steam, CSS, something like that. Um, you could also do something like that and that should make the folder inside the f the folder you were just in in this case the cmd so let's do home steam and css actually let's do Gary's mod it's a little bit harder i guess <laughs> okay now we need to do the app update um then do the four 20 validate 
and 420 in this case is the Garry's mod ID. If you were to install a Counter Strike source, you're just gonna go and find the Counter Strike source number, and that's right here. Um, I am gonna be back once this uh, download is complete. All right, so once you exit out of uh, the command prompt from Steam CMD, you wanna just uh, clear out the window by using the clear command, and then let's ls see what's uh, in the directory here and the green one that says srcds run is the one we are going to use so do dot forward slash srcds underscore run and then do hyphen console hyphen game garrison and then do plus map gm flagrass and plus max players 16 and let's see if it's working here. It seems like it's looking for um, the workshop add-ons and stuff like that. Um, if you want to know how you use the workshop add-ons, the collection thing, um, I have a tutorial in on how to do that on my channel. So, if I were to just simply log out of this terminal right here, it would close down the server, making it inaccessible. So. What we need to do is stop it by holding uh, Control C. That's gonna stop the job. Um, and then we're gonna install Screen using this command. Um, um, see, oh yeah, we need to be roots. Install. If you want to be able to do the app get install command from a non root, you need to add them to the sudoros, I think it's called, um, in the etc folder, I think. So let's do the apt get install screen. And once you do that, it should say something about installing and stuff. I already have it, so it's all good. Let's do screen screen and then do a hyphen R, a capitalized R. And what this does is that we can name our uh, our screen something. So in this case I'm gonna name it gmod underscore one. And now we are in the screen. So let's run the, the start server command here. Oh yeah. The reason why it's blinking is that I was using the numpad, and you can't use the numpad in, um, in the screen here. All right. Um, it is starting. So to you know detach from the screen you want to hold control press A D and now you can see we're detached so let's just do screen uh, hyphen list and as you can see the screen is now running here. If you wanna in, in doing this you can have uh, multiple servers um, on one you know Linux uh, server so if you want to go back to the desired screen, you want to do screen and then do R, um, not capitalize this time, and then type in the screen name, and here we are in the screen. And from here, you can execute the normal commands like you would on Windows, stuff like status and and all that. And again, Control A D to um, to detach and Control D to terminate. If you press Control D while the server is running, it will shut it down. So, I guess that's it. Um, but just in case, um, you're probably going to ask me about uh, FTP and how you connect to that. So, open up FileZilla, get your host. Um, it's the IP address of your server, the same we use to connect to it using PuTTY, and just put the username as Steam, and the password um, is the password for the Steam account on your system, and then use port 22 instead of 21. And 
What this does is that it uses the SFDP that comes pre-installed with all Debian systems. As you can see here, we got our Gmod server here and our Gary's mod folder and add-ons. And you would just edit this like you would on a normal, like if you bought it from a game host and stuff like that. So upload maps. Um, I guess that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to PM me on YouTube or Facebook. Um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, you know, subscribe, all that. And I just news here. I haven't been able to make um, a lot of videos lately because I've been busy with a secret project and a lot of studying. So hopefully it should, you know, go down a little bit about the studying and. In a few months, I'm going to reveal my secret project that I'm working on. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.